who's going to win and should they win? So let me introduce them. First of all, uh, Mehdi Assar, the editor-in-chief of Zateo News. Mehdi, great to see you again. Dave Smith and Destiny, streamer and political commentator. So, Mehdi? Uh, black people like to cut up watermelons, not pumpkins, on Halloween. Uh, Jews are stingy. Palestinians are terrorists. Um, effing illegals. Kamala Harris is surrounded by pimp handlers. She's the antichrist and the devil, mm. right? Immigrants are being brought to replace us. That's mm. just a warm up act. He's the new Hitler. Okay. And almost, it wouldn't be long before the Hitler stuff comes out. And honestly, okay. on a scale of offense, calling someone the new Hitler, isn't that actually worse right. than so anything else? First of all, I was at the DNC. I sat there six hours every night in a very uncomfortable seat. Nobody called Donald Trump Hitler from the States. Your argument falls apart. The Puerto Ricans, the Jews, the Palestinians, effing illegals, pimp handlers, antichrist. Mm. That was all there. He talked about the enemy within, which is literally a Hitler line. So if you don't want to be accused of sounding like Nazis, there's a simple solution. Stop talking like Nazis. Look, I'm good friends with Tony Hinchcliffe, so uh, Lucky. Exactly. making jokes. Well, and if you don't like that, that's exactly. fine. Well, hold on, what I quoted was not just from Tony Hinchcliffe. No, it was no, no. Trump's childhood friend who called no, Carla understand. the Antichrist. My so point is that comedian, my point is that you were mixing in what the comedian said with oh, what other all, people all said. Right. So I think it should be that you're Hitler. It was like being at a big music festival where the band gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Then Destiny, where are we with this race? I'm pretty nervous right now. I'm pretty nervous. Uh, it feels like there is just like a totally different standard that both sides can, can play by. It's really funny listening to the idea that one statement in a six hour uh, entire rally, you know, can't be used to convict Trump or his campaign or the rally. Meanwhile, when it comes to Democrats, uh, you guys will pick out like one line from somebody and that will be fair to characterize well, their entire speech. Each other. I totally they're absolutely that. not as bad not as each other. Sure. Because no. the difference is, is that while Trump No, in terms jokes, of picking out lines from <laughs> lengthy speeches, I think both sides play that game equally yeah, but hard. The problem is somebody will pick out, say, the Biden line where he talks about MAGA Americans. Mm. And then when you read the speech immediately after, he goes, not all Republicans are MAGA Americans. It's a minority of the party. It's just mm. these people that deny, for instance, the election outcome. Mm. Right. He'll, he'll specify. He'll clarify. Whereas for Trump, you can pick out lines. And these lines are not only consistent with everything else that he says, they're consistent with the policy that he advocates for and tried to pass in government. We're living in two completely and totally separate worlds where the standards for both sides are just out of this world. So why is it that he may win? After everything that happened in the first term, after the way it ended, after the fact he was dead and buried really two years ago. I mean, I remember Ron DeSantis being way ahead in the polling to be a Republican nominee. Yeah, before he Trump ever talked to a single voter. <laughs> right, right. But, but, you know, obviously that. But actually, you could chart Trump's recovery was when the Justice Department started going after him in all sorts of different legal actions. And that is when you can see Trump's popularity starting to go up. I totally up. disagree. It started to go up when he started to be more active in, in campaigning. Uh, well, but he, he went out to defend himself <laughs> against all the legal charges. He hasn't defended himself against any legal charge, to be clear. He's his defense, his defense he, he is, I need criminal well, immunity. That's well, his defense. There well, was nothing on, was he was defensible. He, was he didn't deny a single thing. He, he didn't say anything didn't happen. Well, he said, he was, I need criminal immunity from the things I'm being charged with. I can't possibly commit crimes Nobody president. has more aggressively defended themselves against criminal charges than Trump. Name one defense. What's the defense for the Mar-a-Lago thing? Well, What's the defense for the conspiracy I to overturn the election You're conflating thing? what I mean by defense with, with your idea of defense. I well, mean my idea of defense is like you say, this is why I didn't commit a crime. No, right. I, I did commit a crime and I need immunity. Like but, immunity, by definition, legally, is not okay, a defense, but, right? But in, in relation to the one that he's actually been convicted of, I still think it was an absolute farce and a woeful act of self-harm by the Democrats who fueled this to go after Trump first for a bit of paper shuffling over paying a porn star off 18, for a fling 18 years ago, how which many he denies ever how having. Many, how many months did we have Hillary Clinton's emails being the front and center story Hunter for the Biden. news? How much did we hear about Hunter Biden and his, you know, his cock and his crack addiction or whatever, how, who's, by the way, still not running how for president? Bill Hunter? Clinton, when he was actually president of the United States, have sex with an intern in the Oval Office and then lie about it to the American people? And it's not him that gets dragged through a criminal court. It's Trump over a fling with a porn star oh, 18 sorry. years ago. M hold on. My, and I could be wrong because I'm younger. I'm only 35, okay? My understanding is that Bill Clinton was impeached in the House and that Bill Clinton was... But he was never criminally charged. And, and then Bill... Because he didn't... I don't think he committed necessarily a crime. I think but he that, paid off Paula Jones $850,000 for sexual They're not even close. Bill Clinton case. is disgraced. They're not even close because he's a Democrat. Wait, no, no, no. Bill Clinton no, is disgraced in the Republican Party and Donald Trump is the hero of the Republican Party. They're not even remotely similar yeah, to how the parties treat them. Yeah, Bill Clinton's this is, a Democrat and he still speaks at the DNC. This is what about the time I've not seen. Well, well, okay, we're doing Bill Clinton now? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I am very much doing Bill Clinton. Did he overturn an election? Did he send a 
mob to the Capitol to overturn I've an election. I've just told you what he did. No, no I'm, but I'm asking you what, what he did compared to Trump. Well, he had sex with an intern in the Oval Office and then lied about it to the American people. Do you not think that's important? Yes, I was against Bill Clinton. You picked the wrong okay. guy. I was right. never a fan of Bill Clinton. Nice try. Try again. It's what is represented on that. It, it, it's all about freedom. It's all about not allowing our country to be fundamentally transformed, as Barack Obama had promised he and his ilk that they would do to America. He, he said that back in 08. Um, we recognizing we don't need a fundamental transformation of America. We need a restoration of all that's good about America. What is the and freedom that Donald Trump, Trump represents? And, the and that is what... Trump well, that's a that's interesting question. Is it the freedom to not have an abortion, to have a police officer looking over you when, when you go to get tested for pregnancy? Is it the um, the freedom to have a president that lives above criminal prosecution? Shut Is it the freedom to have tariffs related to every single product that we might import into the country? We'll what is the freedom? One, we'll take one freedom that he is uh, quite adamant about, because the majority of Americans are adamant about, and that's our Second Amendment rights. I'm sorry. How that much, much anti-gun legislation or executive action did Biden do? And then compare that to Trump. But, Biden well, did nothing. Trump banned bump stocks. So that's an auto loss for you. What's right, the next? Well, <laughs> well, let's talk about Kamala and, and her position. Cam okay. Are you saying Kamala or are you saying Kamala? How are I you, say how are Kamala okay. because I don't see any point in deliberately I, mispronouncing I, a name. Well, like Trump does every single time he speaks. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. still, still I don't want to be... Hussein, Obama, like yeah. Hussein, yeah. yeah and so they called him the new Hitler. So all's fair in love and war. Excuse me, but also, didn't, 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 Trump, didn't, didn't Trump try to accuse though. Obama of not being born in the United States? Wasn't that his entrance into politics? Again, it's mm. not just what he says, just it's what he does. Questions. Just okay. asking questions. And even when Arpaio came out with the no birth apology. certificate, they said... No apology. Yeah, no apology for that. Okay, so you asked about the freedom you're called Trump represents. When you're called a Nazi. When you're called a Nazi. They've called Obama a communist for eight years. Let me finish my point. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you're obsessed with this one point. It's all you have. It's, really it's quite a big point because you're it's comparing. Because Trump calls Didn't Harris Trump a fascist? say immigrants are the poisonous, if you're poisonous comparing to the blood Trump, of the nation or whatever? You're like, comparing Trump to the most evil person in modern history all, JD Vance who murdered 12 I think, million I know people, I know who perpetrated the Holocaust of 6 million. I've called Trump Hitler. The only person I know who's called Trump Hitler is his running mate, J.D. Vance. And his last general called oh, yeah, fascist. Oh yeah, his last general, by the way, his top general said he's a fascist. These are the people the that have worked the closest to him. His chief of staff says he praised Hitler. Hmm. Should we go down the list? Of well, they didn't praise Hitler. Do you know more about Trump? I know you're friends he, with him. He but said they he would like to have had the loyalty of, of Hitler's that's generals. That's not true. He I said think... that's not true, Piers. Let's be some hmm. facts. He we said, don't quote, even know he said, if quote, he said that or not. Hitler did some good things, is what he said. He, he, agree denies, with that? he denies saying that. Oh, Trump like denies it. Yeah. So you, oh, yeah. How do you know he did? Piers, you trust Donald Trump over General John Kelly. Just say that to the world. I want to say Possibly on that. Possibly, do you? Yes, it's been denied. So Trump, other people who were in the Trump room. Lies well, other in people every in the, breath. Other people. Of, yeah, I don't dispute that he has a problem with the truth. <laughs> but I, great ready, let me get a theory. word in. No, nope. great replacement theory <laughs> I, is I, a no, neo-Nazi theory. <laughs> Until you address that, I can't continue okay. this conversation. Right. Let me let me come to Sarah about. for. I want to move to a different thing because you're not going to address the fact you think you don't Nazis. know what the great replacement. You think they're a bunch of Nazis, but don't really want to say they're a bunch of Nazis. Both your shows. I love watching you guys do this to each other because watching you guys do it to other people is infuriating. And when you guys go to each other, it's very funny. And I do it too. It is true though. You don't deal in fact when you talk about Trump though. I agree with him. No, I do. I'm very. What's the great replacement theory? Why did you tell me about Trump? Why did you tell me about Trump? I know the great replacement theory. I want to suspend the constitution. I don't agree with the great replacement theory. So why was it why was it echoed by Tucker? Carlson and Don Jr. yesterday at the Brown. But I, 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 I don't agree with you. What do you want me to say? So you're, 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 yeah, he said, he said, Repla yes, Don Jr. was speaking. He said, replace the immigrants coming to replace us. Mm. Trump was on a softball question by Sean Hannity, and he said he'd be a dictator on day well, one. Let me ask you about, was teeing him up okay. for a softball right, question. But let me ask you about illegal immigration then, Destiny. I don't think that Republicans think that illegal immigration is a problem right now. In fact, I'm 100% confident about That wasn't my it. question. The, the I issue, said you think it's right the issue, that between the issue, 7 the, and 10 million people the reality have is, come here, here in illegally. Are two, here are two facts that nobody is, will ever is it talk right? about. Here are two, I'll, I'll tell you. Here are two facts that, that we do not have a problem right now with illegal immigration in the United States. We have a problem with asylum seeking. Okay, That's the number one. That's a huge thing. But number two, if this was such a huge problem, why were Republicans so content to pull the plug on it when Donald Trump said, I need to leave the border open for me to run on this as an election? Yeah. issue. You know what that tells me? That tells me it was never really a problem in the first so place. It's it was just a talking point. It's Trump's fault. Definitionally. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta hear this. Do you understand? Did do you agree that Donald Trump was the one that told them to pull the plug on the bill? He said so. Well, said. I don't wait, think... wait, wait, do you agree that Donald Trump told them do not vote yes on I this bill? I can try and answer. Okay. I don't think he should have been active in getting that bill a pull because it, it would have helped. I'm shocked that you say that Republicans don't believe that the influx of illegal aliens cross our borders it is not a problem. Why it is a problem. The bill? It is a problem. 
is fortunate that he didn't win the election mm -hmm. in 2020 because the next those years were going to be very tough years for the country. Mm -hmm. And now the and Democrats had the fastest growing well, economy in the G7. Yes, I, it, depending on how you want to measure these things, I think they've been very difficult. Consent, I think. Is what Man, you guys just are like impossible. We've finally been trying to sneak sorry, so many bullshit facts. facts. The United States matter. is doing every, better than every OECD every, country, than every G7 country when it comes to inflation. So and then you did, try to blame it on the United States. So, so, I so hang one on. thing. No, it didn't. Because you, you even the things that you can claim. Can I win the point? No, mode, it's not about winning the point. Even when you say people were mad about Trump for not being an authoritarian enough, that's not true. People were mad about Trump because, one, he denied that COVID was even in the country for days or weeks until it was finally evident that we had to say something about it. And then, two, Donald Trump undermined his own health administration so much that the one thing that he wished could take credit for that he tried to, which was warp speed for the vaccine, he couldn't even do it because you his electorate wouldn't even believe that vaccines okay. work. Hang on, let me bring in Sarah. Thank you. Let me bring in Sarah. So the issue is that Donald Trump is a four-year-old when it comes to understanding any, really any issue, but especially foreign policy. And a lot of people have this, uh, uh, they're obsessed with this idea of peace in their mind, which if you're in conflict, peace is the furthest thing from your mind. You want some kind of just peace or justice, right? So Trump's solution for Ukraine is just give up the land that's been taken from you and everything will be kosher, just like Russia did. Um, in Moldova with Transnistria, just like Russia did with um, South Ossetia, and uh, um, I can't even pronounce the other place in Georgia, um, and just like Russia's trying to do now with Ukraine. Um, if you're somebody that wants, you know, justice for Ukraine, or you want the United States to remain a world leader when it comes to, you know, ensuring trade routes or, mm -hmm. or being somebody that the world looks to to ensure uh, relative peace and freedom and stability throughout places like Europe, which it has enjoyed historically more in the past 30 years than it had in the 200 years prior to that, Donald Trump obviously is not going to do that for you. If you're somebody who's very concerned about um, the, the Israeli-Gaza conflict, I mean, you've got Donald Trump, who wholeheartedly, he said it before, will support Israel basically no matter what, with absolutely, you know, no contention whatsoever. You've got a guy who agreed to moving the embassy, who before that was talking about pulling all of the UNRWA funding from the uh, Gaza Strip, um, who would support Netanyahu through and through. The whole reason why those Abraham Accords started was because Netanyahu wanted to start annexing parts of the West Bank, right? Donald Trump is not going to help any of the Palestinians if that's something that you're concerned about. Um, insofar as peace in the Middle East, I mean, you've got this talking point over and over again, no new wars, no new wars. Yeah, again, we haven't had any new wars since World War II, right? The, the war in Iraq was the uh, uh, use of force authorization, or the authorization of the use of force. It wasn't technically a war. Well, it was, Donald a, Trump, it was a war. You can call it that, but Donald Trump bombed, the, Donald Trump bombed Syria. Donald back. Trump bombed I mean, Syria. That wasn't a war, no apparently. Uh, yeah, with no congressional authorization. Uh, Iran attacked uh, uh, Saudi Arabia. You know, did, mm -hmm. they did a drone strike on oil refineries. Uh, there was conflict all throughout Iraq and Syria. Donald Trump abandoned Kurdish allies in Syria. D uh, Donald Trump signed a deal with the Taliban and essentially forced forfeited Afghanistan, and there was the whole fallout from that. Like, this idea that there was peace in the Middle East under Donald right, Trump Dave, is, is absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Some of look, I, I actually well, think, I actually think Trump's foreign wrong. policy was a lot more effective than people give he him credit nothing. for. He did nothing. What was well, effective about it? Well, there's <laughs> not, um, look, I mean, like, I I, it's not. And because Kamala, and because the Democrat Party has put an end to uh, so much of their exploration, certainly so much of our development of our own natural resources. Isn't America producing so, more energy today than we have so, in all of no, history? No, we're not. And That's we, not true? And, we're not? No, we're not. And okay. Remember, um, Kamala and, and her administration, day one, they stopped pipelines, no more so drilling true. on federal lands. So, they just, did. so we look they up, did. America's not producing they energy. Did. You ran with McCain. They did. You said you care about veterans and everything. Did Trump's yeah, comments about yeah. McCain bother you at all? Did Trump prefer his people that didn't get captured? I've never said anything negative about McCain or anything. I didn't ask if you said it. I asked if Trump's else. comments bother so you about anyway, that. So, anyway, Trump made fun of that gold star family for their child. Did that bother you? The they bother me. I wrote a column criticizing well, him heavily for it. Because she just said she cares about yeah. vets. I had yeah. two yeah. parents who served in the Air Force. I'm just curious, do you, do you, if you yeah. cared about vets, yeah. did these comments bother you? If when I Trump tried to go to Arlington vets? and do a photo if off I there. If I care about vets? Yeah, if really? you do, did these comments really? bother you? If I care about yes, vets. if you cared about vets, so I'm asking, did these comments bother you? So the inherent between energy and prosperity and it's energy security. It's going to talk about whether or not Trump's comments about making You interrupted the point that I was going to make. You changed the subject, dude. Because you're not making any points. These are political talking points. Are we running for office in here? Really? Really? You did run for office, by the way. You ran with John McCain, the most warmongering man. That we know of. Why I did you run with John McCain? Point to make, not why, did you run? Did you <laughs> why did you run with John McCain? If you're anti, if you're anti war, make a positive difference in our. But country. he would have sent more people to die. D you don't know that. I do. You he literally know. said, bomb, 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 Iran. He sang it. Yeah. I mean, okay. he, he sang it. He did campaign. That, you're asking why I ran for vice president of the United States No, no, of no I know why no, you ran. You, you wanted just, power. Well, you I'm just saying why you're you, not consistent. You, I mean, maybe to, that's to be fair to Palin, Vance accepted the nomination, and he said that Trump could be America's next Hitler. So, I mean, you know. All right. Let's 